My name is Matthew Alexander, I'm a developer at HCL, and in this video I'll demonstrate managing blue-green deployments in IBM Cloud Private using Urban Code Deploy, while Urban Code Deploy itself is running as a container inside IBM Cloud Private. This diagram shows the layout of my demonstration. I have Urban Code Deploy running as a container inside IBM Cloud Private. Urban Code Deploy will be managing the deployment of a web application that will also be running inside IBM Cloud Private. My Urban Code Deploy database is outside of IBM Cloud Private in my demonstration, but the database easily could be running in IBM Cloud Private as well. Outside of IBM Cloud Private, I have an Urban Code Deploy agent running on a machine that has the Kubernetes command line interface installed. Finally, my web application's container images are stored on Docker Hub. I could have hosted my images in IBM Cloud Private's image repository, but I chose to leave them on Docker Hub for this demo. The goal of blue-green deployments is to have zero downtime. In this graphic, I have an environment labeled blue and an environment labeled green. Version v1 of my application is running in my blue environment, while version v2 is running in the green environment. A load balancer sits atop the two environments. It is currently directing traffic to my blue environment. Once version v2 of my application has been verified as ready for production, I simply update the load balancer to send traffic to the green environment. Let's take a look at IBM Cloud Private. If I go to Menu, Workloads, Helm Releases, I see I already have Urban Code Deploy running in IBM Cloud Private. Before recording this video, I deployed the load balancer and two versions of the web application to IBM Cloud Private using Urban Code Deploy. If I go to Menu, Network Access, Services, I can see my load balancer. If I click on it, I can see the load balancer is currently sending traffic to my blue deployment. If I go to Menu, Workloads, Deployments, I can see the blue and green deployments of my web application. Let's now open our web application in a browser. As you can see, users are being directed to version v1 of our application. Next, let's check out Urban Code Deploy. Here is our application represented in Urban Code Deploy. You can see the load balancer is currently directing traffic to the blue environment. Both environments have the same version of the deployment YAML file. However, the blue environment is using version v1 of the container image, while the green environment is using version v2. Let's say the staging and testing is complete of version v2. Let's point the load balancer to the green environment. The process completes, and if I go back to my application, I see the load balancer is now sending traffic to the green environment. Let's check out the web application and make sure that's true. I'll go back to the web application and refresh, and we see now that traffic is being sent to version v2. Let's now say version v3 is ready for staging. We can use Urban Code Deploy to deploy version v3 to the blue environment. Urban Code Deploy is automatically pulling image tag information from Docker Hub, allowing me to choose any version of the container I desire. The deployment completes. I see that version v3 is now running in my blue environment. Let's check out the web application. I'll refresh, and we see it's still on version v2. That's because we haven't updated the load balancer to direct traffic to our blue environment. Let's do that now. The load balancer has been updated. It's now directing traffic to our blue environment. If I go back to our web application and refresh, we see version 3 is now running. 
I hope this was a helpful demonstration showing what you can do with Urban Code Deploy and IBM Cloud Private. Thank you for watching.